Hi, Jenny. How are you? Hi, teacher. <laughs> Fine. And you? I'm ready. Ready for the last day. <laughs> and what did do you, you know <laughs> when to start the next course? No, I don't know when you're going to start the next course. I imagine after September 15th. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because next week is usually the week to register and to do documents and things like that and then probably after the the vacation for September 15th mm -hmm. and did you complete already the registration for TOEFL 3? Yes okay two, two weeks ago ah, perfect then yes maybe we have one or two weeks vacation and then we return back. When, mm -hmm. when we began the Duffel one, we start we we wait for two or three months because there are there are poco, poco, poco a A few students. A few students. Mm -hmm. But now there are a lot of students, so probably, and only one more course, so maybe everybody continues. Mm -hmm. I want to to finish this course because when when uh, close the insofar, I don't know what happened. <laughs> ah, yes, but this, if, uh, if they close insofar, it's next year, not this year. Mm -hmm. But then they continue with courses, but not with the name in support, probably with a different name. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. It's the typical. All right. Well, I see we have a lot of people here, so we are ready to begin. Excellent. Today we have um, two activities to do. We have one writing and then the final exam, right? So the first thing that we have is to be sure that we have enough time uh, instead of doing the writing we're going to go first to the final exam why because the final exam is with grade and the and the writing is not with grade so we want to make sure that everybody finishes as you can see we have 10 questions final exam sections three and four three and four we're going to have just about 15 minutes with your partners to complete it and then we're going to come back to do the writing section i know some of you have already go ahead and started or finished that but we want to make sure that everybody completes it any questions before we begin no no teacher no okay. questions at all all right, excellent. So then it's clear. Perfect. So we're going to go ahead and let's take a look. Let me make the groups. There we go. And here we go. Let's get our 15 minutes to finish and we can do it. Okay, Mane, we're going to get you to the group.
Welcome to the last section of this course, the writing section. Here we'll study independent writing question 2. We'll tell you what it is and what is expected from you. As always, you will have time to practice and to take the writing test. Good luck! Directions. Let's move on now to the last section of this course, the writing section. We'll go over writing question two, the independent writing question. We will see how the question is structured, how to approach the question, how your response is scored, and we'll give you some tips for improving your writing skills. So here's generally what question two will look like. For this task, you're presented with a question and you have 30 minutes to write your response. There's no maximum length for your essay, but a good response is usually at least 300 words. So what is the question asking you to do? Question structure, 30 minutes, 300 or more words. The independent writing question will ask your opinion on an issue. So often you'll get a question such as, do you agree or disagree? Which would you prefer? Or do you support or oppose this idea? Question structure. Your opinion on an issue. Do you agree or disagree? Which would you prefer? Do you support or oppose this idea? Use specific reasons and examples. Approach tips. Make an outline. Some people like to travel with a companion. Other people prefer to travel alone. Which do you prefer? Don't memorize. Scoring criteria. Scored 0 to 5, development, organization, language use. Before the test, make sure you understand what the raters are looking for and how each question is scored. The essay in the writing section will each be given an overall score from 0 to 5. For question 2, the independent writing question, the raters are looking for three main things. Skill building tips. Read opinion essays and write about them. Time yourself and plan. Write and revise in 30 minutes. Tips. Learn how to find and correct grammar mistakes. Remember, when you practice, you may find that you're making the same kind of grammar mistakes over and over. So learn how to correct them. Then, when you write your essay, leave a few minutes to go back and make those corrections. Let's go over the speaking section. This is what you will find. Integrated questions 3 and 5 and integrated questions 4 and 6. Going over each type of questions will help you get better results. So stay for the explanation and watch the examples. Welcome to the speaking section. We'll now go over speaking question three and five. Introduction, question structure, approach tips, scoring criteria, scale building tips. Here we're going to look at how the questions are structured and what they're asking, how to approach the questions, how your responses are scored, and we'll give you some tips for improving your speaking skills. Question three, 
Read a passage. Listen to a response. 30 seconds to prepare. 60 seconds to speak. Here's generally what the question will look like and how they are structured. In question three, you will read a passage about a campus-related topic. Then you will listen to a response to that topic. Then you will have 30 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak your answer. Question five, listen to a conversation. 20 seconds to prepare, 60 seconds to speak. For question five, you listen to part of a conversation. Then you'll have 20 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak your answer. Now let's look more closely at what these campus situation questions look like and what they will be asking you to do. For question three, where you have both reading and listening passages, you will be asked what the opinion is of a speaker in the listening passage, and you will need to explain how that person's opinion relates to the issues presented in the reading passage. So, you're essentially summarizing and combining information from two sources. For question five, where the listening passage is a conversation about a campus problem and one or more solutions, you will need to describe the problem and then give your opinion about what the solution should be. Approach tips. Don't speak too quickly. Speak at a normal pace. Time yourself when you practice. How to approach these kind of speaking questions. Number one, be careful not to speak too quickly because this might make it difficult for the reader to understand you. The questions are designed so that if you speak at a normal pace, you will have enough time to give a complete response. You will get better at this if you time yourself when you practice. Question three, listen carefully to the speaker's reason for agreeing or disagreeing with points made in the reading. Make sure you summarize the opinion of the speaker. For question five, as you listen, focus on identifying and understanding what the problem and possible solutions are. Then, write down a few keywords or ideas on your scratch paper. But remember, you need to do more than summarizing your response. You also need to give your opinion, so don't spend too much time summarizing. Use most of your time explaining why it is the best solution. A scoring criteria, 0 to 4. A score holistically. Before the test, make sure you understand what the raters are looking for and how the questions are scored. In the speaking section, all six responses are scored on a scale from 0 to 4, and they are scored holistically, which means that the rater listens for various features in your response and then give it an overall score. Delivery. Clear and fluent speech. Good pronunciation. Natural pace. Good intonation. Language use. Use of grammar and vocabulary to express your ideas. Topic development, how fully you answer, how clearly you express your ideas, how you connect ideas. Now, here are some activities that can help you build your skills for integrated speaking tasks, especially numbers three and five about campus situations. Find an online newspaper from an English speaking university. Look for topics about campus life. Choose an article to discuss with a partner. Record yourself and listen to how you speak. Listen to hear your mistakes as well as your tone and pacing. Find listening and reading material on the same topic. Outline a one minute response, including your opinion and supporting points. Practice improving your fluency. Try to smooth out your phrasing, use different wording, avoid pauses, use transition words, and so on. That include the study questions. Practice answering the questions. Let's go over speaking questions four and six, the integrated speaking questions about academic courses. Introduction, question structure, approach tips, scoring criteria, skill building tips. Now we're going to look at how questions are structured. Question four, read a passage, listen to lecture, 30 seconds to prepare, 60 seconds to speak. Here's generally what the question will look like and how they're structured. In question four, you will read a passage about academic subject. 
Then you will listen to part of a lecture on the same subject. You'll have 30 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak your answer. Question six, listen to lecture. 20 seconds to prepare, 60 seconds to speak. For question six, you will listen to part of a lecture. Then you will have 20 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak your answer. Question four. For question four, the reading passage will all. Are you ready, Rodrigo? Okay, let's take a look then. I think we had the chance to finish. Most of you had already finished um, at least a little bit, uh, done some of the exercises. Let's check. Number one, how much time is given in order for you to speak in integrated question number three? Sixty seconds. Sixty seconds. Sixty seconds. Okay. Sixty seconds. And how much time do you have to prepare? Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. And for the integrated questions three and four, which skills will be put into practice before you speak your answer? Reading and listening. Okay. Good. Reading and listening. In integrated question five and six, uh, will you? Listen to a lecture or conversation. To a or conversation. Good. And what when being scored, which three features will they check on? Delivery. Delivery. Mm -hmm. Language use. Okay. And topic, topic development. development. and topic development, good. And the six, the question will you ask, uh, sorry, the question will ask you to explain the main concept or issue using the points and examples that were given in the lecture. This happens in which questions? Number six. Well, number six. Number six, okay, clear and fluid speech, Good pronunciation and natural pace. Good intonation are examples of? Delivery. Delivery. Okay. For the independent questions, round number two, sentence structure and word choice. Vocabulary, use of grammar are examples of? Language use. Language use. Good. How many words should your essay contain? 300. 300. 300. That's right. At least 300. And the last one, usually what kinds of questions will be will you be asked for this in this type of independent writing question two? Opinion, Opinion. agreements, and preference. Okay, let's take a look. There you go. So we have opinion, agreement, preference, mm -hmm. or you can put in, for example, my opinion, agree or disagree, and I prefer, in mm -hmm. case you didn't write it correctly. Opinion, agreement, and preference. Yes. 300 is correct. Language use. Delivery. Question number six is six. And then, of course, here, delivery, language use, and topic development. Development. The same. Delivery, language use, topic development. So the only things that are a little bit different are whether you have capital letter or no capital letter or full sentence. Then number four listen to a lecture. And number three, the writing is reading and listening in capital or reading and listening, no capital or the sentence. And then the last ones, number two and one, correct 20 seconds and 60 seconds. Yes. Great. Do you have any questions? Mm. No, everybody had them correct. <laughs> I know that normally yes. for the writing is sometimes for the comma or the period mm -hmm. or something is it's a little difficult but yes. it's okay for everyone yes. Yes. yes yes all right excellent and then we have our last writing task for today where we're going to practice the most important 
our writing that we wanted to make sure we had enough time to do. Yancy, can you please read our question for today? Okay. Do you agree or disagree with the following statement? There is nothing that an, an, edu an educated person can teach an, an educated person. Use a specific reason and example to support your opinion. Now, remember, in English, educated is not like in Spanish. Educated um, is not like in Spanish, please, thank you, no, excuse me. No, remember, in English, educated is educated academically. This is the meaning. The university. University, schools, uh, degrees, um, you know, um, diplomas. This is the idea for educated. Okay, so we're going to practice. Look at the question. Let's make sure that we're clear. Our first paragraph should be the idea statement and what is the main idea? Do we agree or disagree? Paragraph number two should explain why we agree or disagree with that. Paragraph three should be why we don't have the other answer right? The negative. If we agree in paragraph three, why we don't agree? If we disagree in paragraph three, why we agree? Always have the other point of view. This is the most important. So the main idea, what are my examples and details? Paragraph three, why I don't have the other point of view? And then paragraph four, the conclusion. It's okay, the ideas? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Teacher. Uh, yes. 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 In in this statement, an educator person is like a, an alfabeta in español. Not necessarily, but a person who uh, who does who didn't finish high school or a person who didn't get a college degree. Okay. Mm -hmm. That you. would be like an uneducated person. Okay. Okay. All right. So. Let's take our moment, let's go for it. Answer the questions, remember, right in the chat. That way you practice and organize your time. 30 okay. minutes, let's go.
¿Me viste el partido, papi? A ver, no está una rata.
Okay, now we have five minutes. Remember, finish the last sentence and then go back. Check your spelling. I see a lot of mistakes with spelling, a lot of mistakes with letters missing in the words. So we have five minutes. Go back. Check your spelling, your ideas. See if you follow to get the maximum points. Okay, guys, we are finished. 
very nice. I see many people completed. They were now we're getting better. Now we're getting longer writings, more assignments. Wonderful. At the beginning, we only had like 100, 150 words. I see now a lot longer paragraphs, more details. Just be careful with your vocabulary. Remember, try to use the vocabulary from the question. For example, don't speak like in Spanish. For example, we say in Spanish, not educated. But in English, not educated is not correct. It's uneducated. That's why it's in the questions. Remember words, for example, um, uh, persons, it doesn't exist. Persons is not correct in English. It's people. Person, singular. People, plural. Little things that you have to be careful when you go back and check your writing. Those are the important parts. Okay. Also, remember that in English, it's not I'm agree. It's I agree. There is no verb to be. No, I am. No, I was. No, I were. It's only I agree. Agree is an action, and that's the idea. I agree, or in the past, I agreed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pretty good. And we're getting better at making the paragraphs. One tip that I recommend is always in the first paragraph, put what you're going to talk about. I agree. I disagree. Yes. But in what area a, an, an educated person can teach or an uneducated person can teach an educated person in, for example, in experience, in uh, knowledge, in, in different areas, in cooking, and then you describe why or how. But put down a little bit more in the first paragraph for the introduction because some of the paragraphs introduction are very short. Well, it's almost time for us to go, but I don't know if anybody has any questions about the TOEFL course number two or any comments before we finish off our last class for today. Well, our last class for the course. No My questions question so far. For me. Okay, Vane, no, no questions, no comments. Good. Anybody else? Um, well, my doubt okay. is, teacher, if, if we are going to continue in the number three. That is correct. You continue to number three. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> oh, yes. And for the end as well, I would like to continue with number three. I definitely learning a lot from these courses. Good, good. That is the idea. I try, teacher. I try to. I try. <laughs> no, <laughs> the see, that's teacher. the idea. That's why we have the course. Okay. The course is to help us prepare because it's different. It's different. Have a conversation, then do an exam. It's not the same. Yes. Right? It's like driving. It's like driving, Yancy. It's not the same to do the exam for the driving <laughs> exam than to drive no. every day. It's not the same. No. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you, teacher. Uh, Just to give you the thanks, teacher, to teach and to understand us and to your comprehension for all the mistakes that we did on this course. Of course. And for your help. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm happy. I'm happy to help you. And I'm I'm happy that you learned something. This is the most important. That you go <laughs> and yes. you say, I, I. I not I lose my time. No, I learned something. This is the most important. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank, thank you for your passion. Thank, thank you for your passion. You are passionate with us. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. I hope we continue. I hope only after September 15th, uh, I hope we begin uh, TOEFL course number three again. Okay. And you will stay with yeah. us on the oh, TOEFL three. I think so because the last time I did TOEFL course one, and this is now TOEFL course two. I imagine I finished the TOEFL course three. I, I hope so. Yes. I, hope so. I hope so. Yes, I hope so too. Okay, guys, have a great night. Thank you so much for participating. Thanks. All right. Thanks. Good night, everybody. Bye. See you in the next course. You too. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.